almost like you're scratching away the circuit board and that's the sand that you want to get to so you know that that sand so they kn that you know that you broke the bridges because then now we need to solder across the wires and I think it's I'm not sure I'll re have to look, re look at my diagram but it's those three and symmetrically those three for the 50 hertz and 6 slash 60 hertz and Japanese English switch respectively so that's basically what you got to do with those you probably use a standing knife and be a bit more efficient about it but I have to scratch those away with a flat headed screwdriver as you can see so let's get down to the soldering basically it's going to be a lot more easy and helpful if you've got three different colours I'm using black, blue and red you're only going to need about 11 inches per wire of each colour um, per switch so 5 metres is easily enough um, what you want to do though is you want to strip the wire down I haven't done it at the minute but you want to strip the wire down really short tin it and then tin the contacts so that when it sits on the board it's going to sit really flush to the contacts so you're not going to get any um, shorts or anything like that so strip it, tin it cut it short, tin the contacts on the board and then you want to solder it on, I'm not going to show you all that because it might take me like 5-10 minutes and that will be too long for a YouTube video so um, yeah once I've soldered it I'll show you which ways I've put the wires on right now I've soldered all the stuff as you can see before you solder it all after you've broke the connections what you want to do break the bridges between uh, JP2 and JP3 what you want to do is you want to get a, a meter on it and make sure they're not still connected so put it across the two and make sure they're not um, still connected once you've done that you want to put the pins on like this it's pretty much symmetrical you miss out the bottom left and the top left contact and these top three are for one switch and these bottom three are for another switch um, JP3 the contact right next to that is the closest one on this switch and then black for middle and blue for far and I'll put a diagram on the screen basically for the switches for that um, so I'm going to put it back together and see if it works ok so we've got the soldering done got a wired up and we've got the switch mounted in the case and we've got the console back together so if we take a look I've got it all connected back up there yeah, there's the two switches you can't see them very well and it's dropped the console but the switches are there as you can see so closest on both means it's 50 hertz English and if you switch that one that way it means Japanese 50 hertz then switch that way that's 60 hertz Japanese right so the test game here for the Japanese part of it is going to be Streets of Rage so if you can see we're doing the Streets of Rage in there move it up you'll notice on the Sega logo it will have a TM right there and you'll see why that's relevant in a minute See English writing of course so now if we turn the console off and we switch to Japanese as you can see this is still in English of course but there we go no TM logo on this Sega that indicates that it's Japanese as you can see you will see the kanji or Japanese writing come up in a minute here we are if we press start you will see title has miraculously changed to beer knuckle so basically now we know that the Japanese mod is working unfortunately I can't show you the 60 Hertz mod I would if I could but I can't because you need a SCART cable for your Mega Drive to do it and I haven't got one and I haven't got around to making one 
but just to prove that it works anyway I've got Sonic and this is the best example because when you switch it from 50 Hz to 60 Hz you'll see a increase in speed so if we switch it back to English it doesn't really matter whether you boot it in English or Japanese but we'll boot it in English Notice the speed of the song. Now if you switch to 60 Hz. Notice the increase in speed of the sound. As you can see it's black and white and that's because I haven't got the scar cable. But listen to the sound when I switch back to 50 Hz. The increase in speed proves that the 60 hertz switch works and with 60 hertz you're going to get um, increased speeds of course uh, and basically you're going to get increased response time from the control pads and an overall better experience that is of course if you've got a scar lead and you can experience it in colour um, I might be showing you how to make one of those soon um, if not then just get one, get them off eBay or you can get them off the website called consolepassion.com .co.uk. I'll link to it in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching. First off, and I really hope this tutorial has helped you a lot. Um, if you get stuck or if you need any help, just message me on YouTube or send me a, a message email at jawsville@hotmail.com at, at the bottom of the screen right now. So now you'll be able to enjoy Japanese, English, 50 hertz and 60 hertz games all on your Mega Drive. Subscribe and stay tuned for more mod tutorials and just general videos. Thanks for watching.